Dad, wake up. It's been like two weeks and since you made a YouTube video. Okay, okay. Jesus. Quickly. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. <sighs> uh, I don't know. Planets? Alright, alright. Um, let's put some things on the telescope so that we can take photos of planets. Uh, Jupiter's up tonight. Um, let's had a chat with Trevor. He has the same telescope and he's shooting tonight as well. So uh, that made me jealous. And now I want to go and do some planetary work on my telescope, even though it's technically not at opposition for the planets. But that's alright. I'll just uh, see what it's capable of. And then when planets are in opposition, I should get a lot better detail. Let's get to it. Because I'm pretty lazy and I haven't sorted out the off-axis guiding and all that, this is just planetary tonight, but there is dark sky and there is a lot of Milky Way up there, so I'm just going to whack the DSLR as piggyback using the piggyback adapter and this new uh, ball head mount. I'll leave the link in the description. It's pretty cool and not very expensive at all. Uh, and that's going to give me a lot of freedom of motion while this whole thing is piggyback. So I won't have to rely on the equatorial aiming anymore or framing. I can just put the camera on here, move the ball head around and I'll have real freedom to frame the image however I like. No guiding or anything, it'll just be like 30 second exposures, stack, easy. Well, the piggyback photo was an okay consolation prize for an otherwise completely unsuccessful night in the observatory. But that's okay, because it was mostly about problem solving. Astronomy is mostly about problem solving, so some nights you're just going to spend tinkering. Now the first thing I learned was that I had to get this spacer in here to get the correct back focal distance for the planetary setup. So now I have the, the adapter out of the back of the OTA here, the spacer, the 2.5 Barlow, the electronic filter wheel, a T nose adapter thingy, and then the ZWA174MM, uh, and that works, which is good. Uh, I did do another little test where I pointed it at Eta Car, the star within the Carina Nebula, and I got a pretty crappy little image, but it does show the shock wave there, uh, which I thought was really cool, and I'd love to get back to this. It's small, but it's there, and I see some detail in that cloud, so I'd love to try and get a little bit more if I can. Did have a problem with the filter wheel. All right, mystery with the filter wheel solved. I don't know if you can see that in there, but all of that had actually been ripped out. It's like it had been worn down. Uh, so when I was changing filters, it would get to that particular spot and just stop. I fixed it with a little bit of silicon. There is some good weather coming up, so I'll be able to do all of this all over again and maybe actually get an image out of the end of it. Okay, okay, it looks like I have discovered the planet Donut. Uh, that's a good start. I've got my telescope connected through fire capture. That's a bit better. Ah. 
how did you feel when the clouds came over for the third night in a row? Well, that's just astronomy, you know. It's a patience game. You have to have patience. I mean, I, I think I have the patience of the Dalai Lama at this point. Mm. I think I'm a very calm person. You just got to take the good nights with the bad. Yes, but you see, Dylan, this doesn't explain why you climbed the clock tower and opened fire indiscriminately into the crowd, killing innocent people. The app said it would be clear. <laughs> the app oh, said it time. would be clear. <laughs> the app said it would be clear. Try, try again. have had better results from my nine and a quarter telescope. However, this was first light for the C11 and as you can see from the raw video, uh, the conditions were a bit wobbly. Uh, seeing is critical at this focal length and I don't want to make excuses, but planetary really drives you a little bit insane. It's easy to do, but very difficult to master. Now I spent a lot of effort over several nights driving myself insane, trying to get a decent colour photo, and I got a decent photo. I really like that shadow transit. I really like that you can see one of the moons uh, fairly clearly on the limb, but it's definitely not showing the potential of this telescope. So watch this space because I'll be back to, to really slay this dragon. As always, thanks for tagging me in your great photos. I like seeing them pop up on Instagram and Twitter. And although it was a lot of effort, don't mistake effort for talent. Uh, just because something took a lot of hard work doesn't necessarily mean it's good work. If you see anything that I've done wrong or think you can improve something in my workflow, please let me know down in the comments and I will pin any of the best ones. But at least I'm set up and ready for the planet season. Now, as all the planets come into opposition, I'll be ready to throw that image train on and give it another crack. Well, that's about it, I think. I, uh, I really need some sleep, so I'm gonna go to work. And remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.